Are you tired of constantly battling the discomfort and pain caused by acid reflux? It's a frustrating condition that can impact your daily life, making it difficult to enjoy your favorite foods or even get a good night's sleep. The good news is that there are effective ways to manage and treat acid reflux, and it all starts with adopting the right approach, rather than relying solely on medication or trying to ignore the symptoms. The best approach to treating acid reflux is to make some lifestyle changes. This may include adjusting your diet, losing weight, and practicing stress reduction techniques. While it can be challenging to make these changes, the rewards are well worth it. By taking control of your health and working towards a long-term solution, you'll not only find relief from your acid reflux symptoms, but you'll also improve your overall well-being and quality of life. So, if you're ready to say goodbye to the discomfort of acid reflux and take charge of your health, let's dive into some of the most effective food strategies for managing and treating this condition. Before we continue give us a like and subscribe to our channel. That way YouTube can push this to more viewers. While there is no one-size-fits-all diet for acid reflux, there are certain foods that can aggravate symptoms and others that can help alleviate them. Here are some general dietary guidelines for managing acid reflux. Number 1. Avoid acidic foods. Acidic foods are a common trigger of acid reflux. Foods such as citrus fruits and juices, tomatoes and tomato products, and pineapple and vinaigrette dressings are high in acid and can contribute to an already acidic environment. This isn't to say that we are discouraging you to take apple cider vinegar because a lot of people have said it helped them get rid of acid reflux. Just go for the unfiltered variety and start with one teaspoon per day. A note of caution, apple cider may not be for everybody, especially if you have other underlying conditions like ulcers or ibs. I'd also recommend adding a probiotic like water kefir to your diet. Probiotics help with digestion and protect against harmful bacteria. 2. Limit fatty and fried foods. Fatty and fried foods can slow down digestion, causing food to stay in the stomach longer and increasing the likelihood of reflux. Limit your intake of high-fat foods, such as fast food, fried foods, and fatty meats. Heartburn and acid reflux are common digestive issues that can be caused by eating too many fatty and fried foods. These types of foods can cause the stomach to produce more acid than necessary, leading to uncomfortable symptoms such as burning sensations in the chest, throat, and abdomen. Therefore, it is important to limit fatty and fried foods in order to prevent or reduce the severity of heartburn and acid reflux. 3. Avoid caffeine and alcohol. One of the best ways to reduce the symptoms of acid reflux is to avoid certain foods and drinks, including caffeine and alcohol. Try to limit your intake of coffee, tea, soda, and alcoholic beverages. Caffeine and alcohol both relax the lower esophageal sphincter, allowing stomach acid to flow back into the esophagus, causing heartburn and other symptoms. Additionally, alcohol can irritate the lining of the stomach and increase acid production, making it even worse for those with acid reflux. Therefore, it is important to avoid caffeine and alcohol if you suffer from acid reflux in order to reduce your chances of experiencing uncomfortable symptoms. 4. Avoid spicy foods. Spicy foods can irritate the esophagus and cause reflux symptoms. If you enjoy spicy foods, try using milder spices or using them in small amounts. There are two main reasons. First, many spicy foods contain capsaicin, which slows digestion and helps food stay in the stomach longer. The longer food stays in the stomach, the greater the risk of heartburn. Next up 5. Eat smaller, more frequent meals. Large meals can put pressure on the lower esophageal sphincter, less, and increase the likelihood of reflux. Eating smaller, more frequent meals can help reduce the pressure on the less and improve digestion. Eating large meals can cause the stomach to produce too much acid, which can lead to pain and discomfort. Eating smaller meals more often throughout the day helps reduce the amount of acid produced and can help prevent symptoms of acid reflux or heartburn. Additionally, eating smaller meals can help control portion sizes and promote better digestion, both beneficial for those suffering from acid reflux or heartburn. 6. Choose low acid foods. Low stomach acid or hypochlorhydria can contribute to acid reflux by causing the lower esophageal sphincter to relax and stay open. 
However, it's important to note that high acidic foods can also irritate the esophagus and exacerbate reflux symptoms in individuals with normal levels of stomach acid. Therefore, foods that are low in acid, such as lean proteins, whole grains, and non-citrus fruits are less likely to trigger reflux symptoms. Eating foods that are low in acidity can help to reduce the amount of stomach acid that is produced, as well as help to keep food from flowing back up into the esophagus. Low acidic foods can also help to soothe irritation caused by heartburn and other symptoms associated with acid reflux. Here is an example of a one-day meal plan for acid reflux. Breakfast. Oatmeal with low-fat milk and half a cup of papaya slices. Snack. Apple slices with almond butter. Lunch, grilled chicken breast with quinoa and steamed vegetables. Snack, yogurt with fresh berries. Dinner, baked fish with brown rice and roasted vegetables. Please note that everyone's acid reflux triggers may be different, so it's important to pay attention to your own body and adjust your diet accordingly and keep a journal of particular triggers you may experience. You may also want to speak with your healthcare provider or a registered dietitian for personalized recommendations. In addition to a proper diet, Losing weight and practicing stress reduction techniques are other ways of avoiding acid reflux and staying healthy. That's all for this video. We hope you like it. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Until next time, to your health.